How's it going, everybody? Upgrade Guy here. So in this video, we're going to be looking at all the Roku devices and how to fix common issues that happen on them. This means anytime your device freezes, anytime your channels are slow and you're experiencing buffering, anytime your device just isn't working, you'll be able to reference this video to go through a certain amount of different steps in order to get your device and your Roku working better than it ever did. Now, although these steps might not work for your device, if there's a certain problem that you're having with your Roku device, I wanna hear from you. So just comment down below and tell me what the issue is with your Roku device so I can try to find a solution for you and try to fix that problem and maybe even create a video for it. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It helps the content on a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And like I said, comment down below what issue you're having, if you're having one. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is buffering. So buffering can happen on almost any device and most people wanna know, can I stop it? Now, in a lot of cases, you can't necessarily stop buffering. Sometimes it's not in your control, but we wanna give you the least amount of chance of receiving any buffering on your side while trying to stream live content off your Roku device. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into settings. And then from here, we wanna to go to network. And from here, there's a bunch of different things we can check for our network. So we wanna make sure our Wi-Fi connection, if you're connected through Wi-Fi, is really strong. But of course, you always wanna use an ethernet connection, guys. Ethernet is always gonna be way, way better than Wi-Fi and gonna be have you a way less chance of any buffering happening while you're streaming any material. So if we go to about, you can see a few things here. I'll go ahead and point them out. So you can see my connection type is wireless right here. So as in I am using Wi-Fi right now, my single strength is excellent. So that's really good. You don't want a good or poor connection. That's one of the biggest things with when you're running Wi-Fi is if you don't have a good signal strength, you're gonna lose a ton of your speed right away. So that usually means you're too far away from your router or modem, or it's in like the basement, for example, and you have a layer of concrete in between and Wi-Fi doesn't like that. So that is why I suggest it. So you wanna make sure that all those things are good. And then you can also look at your download speed, 24 megabytes, and it tells me it's good. So I have a really strong internet connection. So I know I can rule that issue out right away. So that would be the number one problem. You can also go here and look at check connection. So we'd click on that. And this is just gonna go ahead and go through a wireless connection check and make sure all of that is up to date and looking good. Other than that, the only other thing you can look at is bandwidth saver, and that's not necessarily gonna help you with buffering, but it'll help you if you pay still, say you get 100 gigabytes of internet uh, a month, you wanna make sure you're saving as much of that network bandwidth as possible. So now let's go ahead and get into check number two, which would be what to do if your screen is frozen on your Roku and how to solve that problem overall. Okay, so now we could say that your Roku device is frozen on the home screen or you're having some major glitching is issues with your Roku device and you wanna know how to solve those issues using your remote. So we'll go through a quick Roku soft reset is what I call it because it doesn't necessarily reset the whole device. You'll still have everything on your device. It's just gonna give it a quick reset in order to get rid of any major issues. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is press the home button on your Roku device five times and then you'll press the up button once, you'll re press rewind twice, and then you'll press fast forward twice. And then the reset will begin. So we'll go ahead and give this reset a try. So we'll press the home button five times, three, four, five. We'll press the up button once, we'll press rewind twice and fast forward twice. And now it just takes a few seconds to start the reset and it'll go about this process and just start resetting your whole device. And like I said, once this process is complete, you'll see your Roku boot back up and hopefully be working better than it ever did. Now we have one more step we can try inside the Roku if you're having issues, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the final last resort that you can try with your device. All right, so the third thing I would suggest checking now is your system update. Now this is if the first two things didn't work. We wanna make sure everything on our system is actually up to date and work and running their newest uh, operating system or whatever updates Roku pushes through. So you go to system, from here we can go to about, and then we can scroll down and find system update. From here, we would click on it and then we can go ahead and press check now and it'll see if there's an update that it can push through in order to get the Roku up to date. So maybe there was a glitch that was happening with their last software version and now this new one fixed it. So that's why we'd wanna go ahead and do that and do the system update. 
And as it goes ahead and does the update, you'll just have to wait until it does its thing. It can take up to 10 minutes sometimes, and it also greatly depends on your internet speed, of course. Now let's go ahead and get to that final last resort if your Roku device is still not working. Okay, so your Roku device will still not work properly. Let's say either it's not turning on or you're dealing with other issues with your Roku device. Now what you can do is a hard reset. Now, quick warning, a hard reset will delete every single thing on your Roku. So it's like starting over with a brand new device. Now, I think this is a good thing to do every once in a while anyways, maybe every few years. If your device actually lasts that long, that's amazing. Um, and all you'll need for this is of course your Roku device with the power cord and then just a little bobby pin or some sort of little needle, of course, like a, maybe like a paper clip will work fine. But you can see I just have a bobby pin with a small, sharp, that doesn't have to be sharp, but just end that can go into a little hole. So what you're going to start by doing is unplugging your Roku device and we would leave it here for around 60 seconds. Okay, once that's unplugged, we're going to go ahead and plug it back in. As soon as we plug it in, we can see this little reset hole. We would go ahead and hold this down. There's a little button inside that you'll feel. Now we're gonna hold this down for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. And you just wanna keep holding it until you see your Roku device start to reset on the screen. Once you see that, you can take it out and we're just gonna to wanna to leave it alone for around, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. It could be quicker, it could be longer, but that's a general estimate to get your Roku device reset and working better than normal. Thank you guys so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to check out our other videos for help on Roku devices, Fire Sticks, Android Box, or any of the most up-to-date streaming news. As well, we have linked down below in the description a free support group where you can ask me and the rest of the group questions around your Android Box, Fire Stick, or any streaming device that you may have. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.